ever wanted a wildflower meadow in your yard? Well, they're beautiful, and they seem like such an easy, no-brainer thing to do because you just throw some seeds out and it should just grow into a beautiful meadow that takes care of itself. Well, many years ago out west where there were open prairies, that's pretty much the way it worked. But now, unfortunately, the environment's changed. We've introduced a lot of weeds that aren't native plants that are from other places that outcompete our native plants. And especially if you're in a part of the country, like the southeastern United States, where there's a lot of rainfall, they're just not open meadows. If they are, they're usually in transition to becoming a forest because that is the nature of nature in the southeast. We grow from seeds, grassy plains are an intermediate stage of succession. The final stage is a beautiful hardwood forest. So if you want a meadow, especially in the southeastern United States, you're stopping natural succession in the early stages, or ecological succession is another way to call it. But you can do it, but understand that a couple things. First, if you're going to try to leave an area more natural as a meadow, it should be dominated by the grassy plants. Those are plants that have single long blades. At least 80% of your plants should be the grassy plants. And I'll show you down here, this tiny little blade, this is grass. And if you look closely all through this area, there's predominantly grasses. You can mix in some of the color plants, all the different beautiful colors. And a lot of these will be annuals, or they can be perennials too, but you, you may have to reseed these periodically. You'll also have to do some hand weeding to keep all those invasive plants that don't belong out of the garden. So you can do it. You can have a beautiful native meadow with all kinds of interesting plants, colors, and textures, but it's not necessarily the natural environment anymore. You're going to have to work hard to take care of it. But if you do, you can have a little slice of the old Wild West in your own yard. I'm Eric King, and we're out here in Austin, Texas at the Ladybird Johnson Wildflower Center.